our ACLJ supporters out there. You deserve to know uh, where your resources are going and how they're being used. And this is a great victory against Planned Parenthood in federal court in the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals out of South Dakota, where your ACLJ attorneys, including me, we were deputized by this uh, the governor there, the attorney general's office, to represent the state. This battle goes back to 2011. It's basically informed consent. So you have to, before getting an abortion, visit a pregnancy health center before you consent to an abortion, which, again, informed consent is a normal part of uh, medical practice and laws in states. That's why, you know, if you're in a doctor's office, they go through all the things that could go wrong. Uh, even if it's a sliding scale of more likely to less likely, uh, you've got to get all the information. They provide you these packets of info. This is what could happen. We get brought in in 2021 and by Governor Nome directly. And uh, we have been filing all of our briefing, but we did know that this case would turn on uh, Dobbs at the U.S. Supreme Court. It would be a very different case if Roe versus Wade was overturned. In fact, no case at all. And this is that first time I've seen in federal court uh, since Dobbs, where because of the overturning of Roe versus Wade, we are winning cases without having to go to oral arguments. We just beat Planned Parenthood. This is why taking abortion from the highest level of scrutiny under federal court, any kind of, you know, the abortion distortion, as we call it, back to a state issue or legislative issue, uh, even if some of the federal laws uh, moving forward, we're able to get victories. That, that is a great victory. And we've seen, obviously, you thanked our supporters, and we do thank our supporters because we are in a battle against Planned Parenthood constantly, and they are very, very, very well-funded. And this was a case that, like you've said, went on over a decade, and we were brought in and appointed as special assistant attorney generals and were able to do the briefing and filings. And then the Eighth Circuit got it right that said, you know, Dobbs has come down, and therefore this third-party counseling requirement uh, South Dakota can definitely do. So it was a great win. It was a law held up since 2011, so over over a decade. Uh, and that's because of the precedent that, that Roe had set and the scrutiny level and abortion distortion. These laws always, any laws that you know touch abortion were treated differently than any other law. Uh, now that's not the case. And it's a good example of how you're seeing victories coming out of the Dobbs decision. Uh, the media doesn't want to focus in on that, of course. The left doesn't want to focus in on that. But we're fighting those battles uh, at the ACLJ. Let me thank Governor Nome for bringing the ACLJ uh, attorneys in uh, to uh, defend the state law and inform consent there when it c comes to abortion. And we won that case, beating Planned Parenthood in the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals.